today we will be talking about Ouija Shark. My friends on the midnight hour, uh, the live stream that we do on Sunday nights on the Hobbs Horror Channel have been talking about this movie, so I figured let's check it out. This is a 2020 film and IMDb, IMDb gives it a whole 1.7 out of 10. <laughs> I found this on Prime and Tubi. I watched it on Prime because I didn't want to do it with the commercials. The plot, a group of teenage girls summon an ancient man-eating shark after messing with a spirit board that washes up on a beach. An occult specialist must enter the shark's realm to rid the world of this deadly spirit ghost once and for all. Well, at least they came up with I, a reason why the board came up from the water. Uh, so maybe it's not completely there. You know, at least the board came out of the water. So, And there's a tagline, you're going to need a bigger board. Nice play. Uh, this is a wildlife film. I'm not super familiar with wildlife films. I've only seen a few, so I'm not, I wasn't completely sure what I was in for. Um, there is, in the beginning, scenes are showing like a lot of old maps and stuff. There is a badass Norwal creature on one of the opening maps. Me personally, I would watch a movie about that creature. Y'all, if you watch this, make a picture with that badass Norwal. I think that would be pretty cool. The board looks driftwoodish, but it's not really aged, so I don't know if that's supposed to be significant of its powers. Uh, the girls are very clean eaters. They eat burgers and hot dogs, but their plates are super clean. At least it saves on wasted food from the movies. You know, pretend that you eat. Um, let's move from the circle table and they had to move because they had to do a circle. They're sitting at a circle table, but they had to move from that to go a circle on the ground. One girl uses a stick to fight a ghost shark. Going to get far there. At least the shark looks better than Shark and Steen. I do like the shark's theme song. That was pretty cool. Um, the fortune teller. Mama told me there'd be days like these and completely shrugs off the shark killing someone in front of her. So, just another day in the office for her. Um, gum as a planchette piece is kind of creative, kind of weird, but uh, the fight in the afterlife, not sure if that's what it was, but that's what I'm calling was kind of epic and kind of was like my favorite part of this whole movie. Definitely the best part of this movie. I would probably watch just a whole movie of that fight. Um, sushi is always a good revenge food after fighting a shark. Um, <clears throat> they do leave it open for another ending, uh, but the ending was kind of silly. I mean, you could have ended it like with the epic battle and whatnot, but the hooded figure, you could have contacted like the Illuminati or maybe the Pope in my opinion, but really the pull politics into it, eh, I kind of watch horror without the politics. Definitely a silly movie, CGI is pretty bad, I give this a lower rating, but I love the after fight scene, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10 just based on the fight scene alone. I just absolutely love this, but my opinion is definitely, I mean, you're doing a spirit board. You could have had them, the hooded figure, if you wanted to bring that in at all, had them contact like the Illuminati or like the Pope or something like, bring it something, keep it spiritual, but you gotta bring in the politics. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a super politic person, but the only politic movie I really like is The Hunt because they make fun of both extreme sides. Both of them. Not just one. Both. So, that's just my opinion. So, um, the movie's alright. And, the like I said, the fight scene is like the best part of the movie. I thought that part was great. And, honestly, I probably would have watched the movie just 
just for the fight scene. But all in all, it's alright. But make sure like, subscribe, do all fun stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye.